Hello students, welcome back to science class. I am back with the new topic of the lesson acid, basis and salt. So let's start new, le new lesson, lesson number 5, acid, basis and salt part 2. But before starting the lesson, let's revise what we have learned in previous video. So in previous video we have learned about acid, basis, some natural indicators. So what is acid? So students you know in our daily life we use large number of substances and these all have different in taste. Some taste bitter, some taste sweet, some taste sour, some taste salty. So some substances are there that we use curd, lemon juice, orange juice, vinegar, etc. taste sour because they contain acids in it. They all are natural acids. This means you can say acids are sour in taste and acids turn blue litmus paper to red. Now basis. So, bases are bitter in taste and soapy to touch. It means substances which are bitter in taste and feel soapy on touching are known as bases. Some common acids are acetic acid found in vinegar, formic acid, Citric acid, lactic acid, oxalic acid, ascorbic acid, tartaric acid and some common bases are calcium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. Now natural indicators. So special type of substances are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic and these substances are known as natural indicators. It means natural indicators change their color when added to a solution containing acidic or basic. So some natural occurring indicators are turmeric, litmus paper, china rose petal etc. So litmus also commonly used as indicator it is extracted from lichens and nowadays it is available as blue and red litmus paper okay so students uh, remember in last video I gave you one table to feel your observation so before starting new topic let's check your homework here is the table First solution is tap water effect on red litmus paper. So tap water with tap water red litmus paper remain the red only. It means no color change. So here you will write no effect. Blue litmus paper remain blue only. So here also you will write no effect. If red litmus paper remain red and blue litmus paper remain blue no color change on both type of litmus paper it means your solution is neutral second is baking soda solution with baking soda red litmus paper turns to blue so here you will write turns blue and blue litmus paper remains blue only no color change on blue litmus papers no effect so inference you will write basic in nature. It means it, as you know basis turn red litmus paper blue. It means baking soda solution is basic nature. Third is sugar solution. With sugar solution also red litmus paper remain red only no color change. So no effect. And blue litmus paper also remain blue. No effect. So here also you will write neutral. 
because both type of litmus paper remain as it is no color change on both so your solution is neutral vinegar with vinegar red litmus paper remain red no color change in it it means no effect and blue litmus paper turns red so your solution is acidic because you know acids turn blue litmus paper to red means vinegar is acidic in nature next is lemon juice with lemon juice red litmus paper remain red no effect on it so here you will write no effect but blue litmus paper turns to red so again lemon juice also acidic in nature so students i hope you might have completed your homework so let's start new topic of the lesson so let's start new topic of the lesson neutralization so students we have learned that acids turn blue litmus red and bases turn red litmus blue so let us see what happen when an acid is mixed with base so here three things we will use hcl hydrochloric acid sodium hydroxide and we are going to use an indicator you have not seen so far it is called phenolphthalein okay students so i am going to demonstrate you neutralization reaction and here we'll use one more indicator this is phenolphthalein so we have learned that acid turns blue litmus red and base is turned red litmus blue so let's see what happen when acid mix with the base so here we are going to use new indicator that is phenolphthalein dilute hydrochloric acid means hcl you can say and this is a base sodium hydroxide now i am going to show you See, this is the hydrochloric acid. Add hydrochloric acid in test tube. Now this is indicator phenolphthalein. So now first note down the color of the acid. It is colorless. Now I am adding four drops of phenolphthalein. Stirring. Now again note down the color. Still it is colorless. It means phenolphthalein gives no color with acid. Now taking one more test tube. Now in this test tube I am taking some sodium hydroxide that is base. Now I am putting phenolphthalein in it. One, two, three, four, four drops. Stirring. You can see it turns into pink color. It means you can say phenolphthalein gives pink color with base, and phenolphthalein gives no color with acid. Remember that phenolphthalein gives pink color with base. And phenolphthalein gives no color with acid. Okay, now I am going to show you, show you what happens when acid mix with base. Now again one more test tube I am taking. Putting some acid, hydrochloric acid in it. Same amount of base, sodium hydroxide in it. Stirring. It means here in test tube, acid and base both are there. Hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Now I am putting four drops of phenolphthalein in it. Stirring. You can see again it is colorless. 
so what do you observe you what do you observe when acid solution and base solution are mixed with each other both the acidic nature of the acid and basic nature of the base are destroyed it means it is neutral solution this process is called neutralization and the resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic now you can touch after some stirring you can touch this test tube you feel some warm it means after neutralization reaction heat is produced it means heat raises the temperature of the reaction mixture in neutralization reaction a new substance is formed this is called salt and salt is salt may be acidic basic or neutral in nature so students i hope you might have understood when an acidic solution is mixed with a basic solution both the solution neutralize the effect of each other when an acid solution and a base solution are mixed in suitable amount both the acidic nature of the acid and the basic nature of the base are destroyed and the resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic so it is evident that when the solution is basic phenolphthalein gives a pink color on the other hand when the solution is acidic it remains colorless in neutralization reaction a new substance is formed this is called salt and salt may be acidic basic or neutral in nature thus neutralization can be defined as follow the simple definition of neutralization the reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization salt and water are produced in this process with the evolution of heat acid plus base gives salt plus water heat is evolved so the re following reaction is an example hydrochloric acid hcl plus sodium hydroxide naoh gives sodium chloride nacl means salt plus water h2o the process of treating an acid with a base to form salt and water with the evolution of heat is called neutralization naoh sodium hydroxide which is a base plus hcl hydrochloric acid which is acid is equal to nacl sodium chloride which is salt plus h2o water so when the solution of acid and base are mixed in equal amount the resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic so the new substance is is formed is called a salt so students will meet you soon with the next topic of the chapter till then go through the video twice for better understanding and still if you have any doubt any query write in comment box will meet you soon thank you